Hello students, um, we are going to explore a museum today. And so if you're in this activity, um, you're in step one for week two of our visual art distance learning class. And what you'll notice is that we are going to be going to a link to the Museum of Modern Art in New York City. And um, it's a pretty fun ex a collection to explore, but it's a little tricky just getting into the website. So I wanted to do a little tutorial to help you get to the website and know what to do once you get there. Um, so I'll follow along in this video and I'll kind of show you how to use the website. But then once, um, once I've shown you in this video, you can go and explore the website all around and enjoy it. So um, once you're in this assignment, you can click on the link here to the side. It doesn't have a picture um, as the default, so just it's the white space here off to the side of the link here. So we're going to click on that. And then um, in your Adobe Flash Player, um, is what you have to enable to make this program work. So some of your computers might go straight to it. Other ones, you'll get this screen. You need to click on the little puzzle piece and then click Allow. Now that you're here, there's a website and it may have a little sound. I'm gonna skip the intro um, and turn off the sound. Um, so that you can hear me and the, the, it doesn't mess with our microphones on this webcast. But when you're touring the museum, you should leave the sound on and feel free to listen to the intro too because it might give you some interesting information. Um, the website does do a really good job of telling you how to navigate it once you're in. The trickiest part is just getting past that Adobe Acrobat um, launching and making sure you get that right. So once you're in the museum, you can go all around and you can see that there's these different arrows and the arrows will take you up to a second floor, they'll take you down a hallway, they'll take you back into the garden. There's all kinds of different places you can find art on this website. Um, and each piece of art has its own little information site where you can learn more about it. And a lot of them have places where you can make your art, um, make some art as well, or an activity to try on your own if you want to. So I'm going to just go forward and find a piece of art that I want to look at. So I'm looking and I'm looking, oh, I see some that this is a Picasso and there's Van Gogh. Um, and then there's a cool sculpture back here. So I could say, oh, I want to check that sculpture out more. That's interesting. And it says it's made by Umberto Bocciani. It's unique forms of continuity in space, 1913. So that was the year that it was made. And then there's always going to be these little buttons along the side that will tell you more about the painting or the sculpture that you're looking at. So I can click at tools and sometimes the tools will be something I can click on and I can learn more just by reading or they'll usually read it to you as well. Like I said, I turned the sound off so I'm going to have to be able to read if I want to, but you, there are things where you can, you can read, you can listen, you can look closer. So as you know, which picture reminds you more of this sculpture? Probably that one. Now, which picture? Ooh, that's a little trickier because this feels kind of like that sail moving in the wind, but I still feel like it's got the legs. So, mm, still this guy. You can decide. So for me, the picture felt like a runner and you can think about why that is. Sometimes there's things you can write, you can think about to tell about the sculpture. Um, it's fun when you do these activities. You can write, I am, I'm going to put that way down here. Am, this is my poem. I am wind. Oh, am and wind. And then I want to keep it. So if I like what I made, I might say, I want to keep this piece, and I might want to hit print. Even if you don't have a printer at home, the print feature is really helpful because what you can do is you can click save as PDF and then it'll save it to your computer or your device, whatever you have. Um, so if you um, save it as a PDF, then you're able to save that work into your own space here. So you have that. Um, oh, and I might have to make a new name for it because I already did one of these. So anyways, you can save your work that way if you want to. Um, you certainly can print it to a printer if you have one at home, but I like to just use my um, uh, my 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 PDF so I can save it as a document instead. And I do have to do something. 
it out. All right, so um, once I'm done looking at a piece of art, then there's this little circle and it says, go back to the museum. And then I can just keep exploring. I can find another painting or another sculpture, something else that's interesting. Even sometimes like this is a rug on the floor. It's a work of art that you can look at. And there's some really cool, um, you can make a picture on this one. You can look at the patterns and think about what is this made of? Do I think it's made of stone or clay? So really spend some time all over this website, exploring and having some fun, because there's lots of cool art to look at and activities to do. And then when you're done, move on to step two, which is our practice for the week. So I'm going to close the website, come back here. And of course, once you're done looking at the website, there is an ask. So please tell me about your favorite work of art on the website and one thing you learned about the artist who made it. So remember that you could click on all those things and find out more about the art and the artist. So please share what you learned after you're done exploring the website. 